show. All right, people, we are live. I know you guys have been waiting and waiting and waiting for the one and the only Jaguar right now. Listen, we, we ran into a little trouble. The police was at the was at a door, okay? <laughs> so we had to get some stuff together. All right. Is y'all ready for this interview? Are y'all ready for the vindication from the lady that actually said it first? Put it out there first that Diddy was a sex trafficker, that these hoes were selling their soul for fame and they ass. These niggas were selling their ass and they throw too. Are y'all ready to just admit that you heard it here first? Y'all hear me and y'all see me. You know, I'm going viral on TikTok. We go viral on Twitter. People using the video don't give me no credit. A lot of your faves want to act like they don't know my name when I know you know my name, hoes and niggas too. You know, let's see y'all. Y'all in this chat, let's see. All right. Jag the new song. Listen, Jag said all that before Sloan Bella even did the videos. No shade to Sloan, but Jag was already talking about it beforehand. Okay. So let's go. I'm ready for this interview and uh, let's get into it. And believe me, you can put your questions in the chat. You know, I can actually see the ones that are super chatted. Of course, I'm going to be able to see those first, but I'm about to bring up the one and the only Jaguar, right? She exposed your favorite celebrity first singer, songwriter, and now she's taking over the internet. But really, she's been an internet sensation for, what, the last four years? Let's officially bring her back on the show. Jaguar. All right, Jaguar, how are you? Uh-oh. All right. So. <laughs> are you safe? Are they at the door? I need a minute. <laughs> You need a minute? I need a minute before I get cam up. But, you know, okay. we're just trying to make sure that, you know, the sound barriers are right and that <laughs> I don't cam up, like, and someone notice a knob and then try to call the SWAT team to come and tell me that they don't like me because they're Diddy fans. Why, why did y'all call the police okay. on Jaguar today? Why did y'all do that? I don't even live there anymore. I don't. What? I just happened to be stopping by to pick up some stuff that I left in the move, and I was walking in the neighborhood, and Cosmo Cousin was like, the police were just here again. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Another goddamn pin cart. I don't... So, you know, rather than going back to the house and doing the interview there, rather than going to the studio where they know the address so that they can call the SWAT team to stop me and Storm Monroe from doing what we do because they're mad. Why are they so mad, though? Why are they so mad, though? I don't know. I mean, like, people are weird. Like, me and you have had this conversation. When you first stepped onto the scene, everyone was, like, fucking mad hating on you talking all kinds of crazy on you and i checked out your content and i'm like okay he's not like the average you know he's not like the rest of you guys but he's got something special i've never said anything different i never will you know and it's just so interesting to me because it's like people want it, it i don't know like people it's like they just don't want to believe that you're good at what you do. And I get that because people have been doing that to me. They know how great I am. They know how fucking awesome I am. They know how much I rock. And yet they'll sit there in my face and try to pretend like they don't know I'm me. Why you think they don't never want to give us our credit? A lot of people like to, you know, they take my sayings. They copy, they copy what I got going on, but they don't, they don't want to say my name. They copy in thumbnails, they copy in titles, but they don't want to admit that they fans. Why, why do you uh, think that? I mean, it's just very simple. Jealousy and pride. Oh. You know, it's just that simple. <laughs> Jealousy and pride. Jealousy and pride. 
Tasha K want to chain you up. I wanted to set you free. Oh, I didn't want to be in the basement no more. I back crawled up out that basement. What did I tell you? I said it just like the joint, but get out. I, get I out. got it. I back crawled up out that basement. I, I had to, I, I had to, I had to back oh crawl my out. Oh, Jesus, Storm. I told you. I, I had to contact. I told you. Get I had to contact TLC's out. attorney to get out the contract and everything. Hammer, you had to take a vow of silence like a Buddhist monk. I had to tap dance up out the basement. How in God's name do you leave a contract taking a vow of celibacy and chastity and shit? Oh, God my God. Damn. It's like the, the exorcism of it all. The exorcism. That bitch. She was an exercise. Literally. Motherfucker. You want to know the thing that's bothering me? What's bothering you? Most of the shit that these little weirdos that talk shit about me all day long every day here on the YouTube. And that's not anti-Semitic. They're Jews. They have a controlling shit. They just mad I thought of it first. Now, anyway, like I was saying, really? how in the fuck do you justify a 24 hour a day, seven day a week smear and hate campaign against someone that you say is an absolute liar? totally not credible, completely irrelevant. How do you justify wasting that amount of time on such a nothing? You can't. Unless you know it is something and you're just trying yeah, to Yeah, my voice it. changed and it's going to change right now. Fuck you, bitch. And, and what? I'm talented. Fuck you mean. I'm sorry. I can't. I ain't looking at this chat no more. Lord, no, don't you about this chat. Oh, them haters. Them haters. Hater. Hey. Mm. <laughs> oh, Lord. You know when the demons come, I start to doing the praising. Oh, I know. Uh, I, I already know how it is. I already know. So, okay, you did, you find, did, you, did you find you a corner in the closet? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, here I am. Here I am. Okay. Let me get my uh my spectacles, my device, and my water. Okay, I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> so you know, it's been a trippy week. It has. Oh, we still can't see you. No, here I come. I'm just I got to make sure I'm like. Oh, Sloan said Jaguar is telling the truth. Okay, shout out to Sloan. Oh, brilliant. I really, I enjoy her. I enjoy her greatly. Um, and I, I get it. Yeah. I get all of her. It's been, it, it's been a while. It's been a while. This is vindication. We got to sit in this. <laughs> We got to enjoy this because you called it out first. I have a video on this channel right now with your quotations where you said Diddy is a sex trafficker. Yeah. You called it out. You didn't yes, say allegedly. Yeah. I, I said he's a sex trafficker. Period. How, how does it feel? Because we were called liars, you know. Uh, cloud Tyler, chasers. Yep, yeah, cloud chasers. We had Talib Carly calling us out. Mary J. Blige, Snoop Dogg was watching. How does it feel well, Mary now? Mary was just mad because, you know, you pointed out her very mannish ways. Oh, my God. <laughs> they, <laughs> they say Mary J. Blige got a man now. What you think? I'm sure she does. I wonder how much they pay him. <laughs> No, she says this one has more money than her. This is what she says. Yeah, her handler. Oh. What, okay, explain those. What exactly is a handler in the industry? All right, basically, they put someone into your life, someone that they think you'll go for, someone that they know is going to be loyal to their agenda. Um, and then, you know, they create that. You know, people should ask why so many of these celebrity relationships start 
with phone calls between publicists. Oh, okay. They what? look at the demographics. They look at what's this. They look at what's that. What will trigger people? What will people be into? You know, I think the biggest problem that I'm having today, fucking Curtis Jackson's baby's mom. Daphne. Daphne. You know, I got my opinion, so I, you know. How about we start with you? What's your opinion? My opinion is when she was with Diddy, mm -hmm. when she was with Curtis, she had That's the true. same goal out of both relationships. Get a half breed. She was with baby. Diddy first. She was with, was she with Diddy first? She was with Diddy first. Oh, I thought she was with 50 first. Maybe Curtis don't know. <laughs> she was with Diddy first. Cause see you wow. <laughs> so okay, so wait, so let's okay, so let's let's look let's look at the timeline. So if she was with Diddy first. Nobody then, knew. She was DL. Got, she was DL. Wow. Then got with well, Curtis. Nobody know about that. And the only reason I know about it is because she is a sex worker and she worked with one of my people. So most people didn't know. I'm sure Curtis is probably wondering how he missed it. That that's nigga put that bitch on you. <laughs> and that's why he's pissed. Now I get why he's really mad because then she had a baby. <laughs> So then, so wait, but wait. Eddie sent them with the Eddie sent them with the package. <laughs> he sent them with the herpes. Oh, did, he, did he ignorant as fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. So she gave it to. So she gave it to fifty. I don't know. Maybe they use condoms. Maybe she just poke a hole. I don't know. So how long? I know have... he has lovely taste in home decor. Oh my god! Oh my god! It, okay, okay. That well, man it... can pick a couch, <laughs> colors, drape the tapestries. He's a man that knows what that means. Very Bogart. But he says he doesn't go that way, Jack. He went that way in jail. That's what I was told. What are you doing? What did 50 do in jail? That nigga spent too much time in jail with a sexual appetite like he got. Him and Mike Tyson, friends. Everybody know what Mike Tyson was doing. He's punking niggas off. Wait, they was both fucking niggas in jail? Yeah. Mike Tyson? You never heard Mike talk about how he was eating it up. No. Yeah. yeah. He done talked about it. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Oh, God. He okay. He talking about how when he was in jail, he was punking niggas off. That's why when he came out and he was talking all that crazy nigga, I'll tag it, I'll fuck you until you love me and all that shit. He did say hey. that. Hey, that, that, that didn't come from an empty place. <laughs> and you know what? If, if, if Mike Tyson <laughs> presses you, how do you tell him no? You can't. What do you mean? Tell him how? Did, how you gonna stop him? You can't. <laughs> Wait a minute, yo, that's all some rocky shit. You remember when she was talking about him fighting the Russians? She was like, "Have you seen the size of him? <laughs> you can't win. <laughs> you can't win. You can't. Oh my god! So now we and, and and you know they say Mike Tyson was real rough in the bedroom. I mean, you know, and asses and asses and ass. You think he used a little little Vaseline first, so he just went in? I don't know. Listen to me. <laughs> it goes to Vaseline. <laughs> you know, because he wanted to he wanted to fuck the shit out of Remy Ma, and even Remy Ma was scared, and she had her man a damn self. Listen to me. <laughs> you got to be a brave kind of woman to be able to take that on. I'm just saying. But you know, it Naomi Campbell, she had the formula. Now, what's Naomi Campbell's formula? I don't know. Whatever it was, it got a restraining order. When is it her turn to be exposed for trafficking? 
Oh God, I don't know. I don't know. She clever. I mean, it's funny. Ghislaine is in jail, but Naomi done a lot more than she done. But when you got presidents in your back pocket and sheiks and when you when you knew what was in Mar-a-Lago before everybody else said, you know, I mean, if Mike Tyson thought she was scary enough to put a restraining order out for his protection, <laughs> I think society ought to watch out. I mean, you know? she was beating holes up. She was throwing. Let, she beat let, the crap out of a hole with a telephone. <laughs> Housekeeper, she was beaten up. But but wait a minute though. But do you remember when somebody jumped her and bust her kneecap? Yeah, they called her slipping. They called her slipping. She recovered. <laughs> I was surprised that they didn't make her Mrs. Hand again in the new Annie movie, the nigga Annie. Oh my, not the nigga. Annie. You know, I, I was I was surprised. I could have sworn the guy they was gonna make. Naomi, Miss Hand again. She so let's keep, that meanness, you know. Let's keep it, but let's keep it real though. Was Tyra Banks any better? I'm gonna put it to you this way: If somebody told me that I had to choose who my executioner was gonna be, that I was going to be tortured until I was unalived. And they said, you can choose Tyra or Naomi. I choose Tyra. Mm. Okay. <laughs> wow. I choose Tyra. I'll pick up. Please let her whoop my ass. Please. Because <laughs> this bitch. <laughs> I got a choice. <laughs> Do you know who her baby's by? Naomi? Does she? I heard things. I'm I'm just asking. They 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 tried to act like she got a sperm donor. I'm not buying it though. Did she steal somebody, baby? I'm gonna put it to you this way. With the amount of time that she puts into her personal regimen to preserve and maintain herself as pristinely as she is, I can't imagine she would waste all of that effort on something as futile as childbearing. Mm -hmm. And the only reason I can say that like that is because I heard those very words come out of her own mouth. Wow. At Robin Thicke's house when she made fun of the girls who had gotten pregnant that were party hoppers. You called them stupid for wasting their beauty with being um, wet nurses. Wow. Yeah. And she tough. <laughs> Damn. It's tough. So, do you think did did, did her because you know she got the alopecia? Did it fall out just because it Who fell out, alopecia? or was it because you know Naomi? <laughs> that's what they call it in alopecia. Now that's what they call it. <laughs> she ain't got no hair, right? I'm just wondering where that came from, too. You know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just call it on. Yeah, they all got the alopecia. <laughs> Must be a symptom you... from the a side effect from the free calls, you know. That's what I was gonna say. It was that shit pulled out? Thank you. That's what I was trying to get at. Can you talk to <laughs> can you talk to them in the chat real quick about the prevalence of let's just be real, of HIV and herpes in the industry? High. Extraordinarily high. And worse than that, it's weaponized. It is intended to do specific harm. Um, they love getting the young girls 
caught up first, you know, especially the ones before the age of 20, before they start realizing they actually have a choice or Right. might need to fight for one. Um, when they're in the high approval stage, because that's how it is for most young girls. I, I know I was a young girl. Um, I was 15 years old when I met Gerald Levert and he took me under his wing. And I never knew how grateful I was until after he died. Wow. He protected you. Yeah. Yeah. He spared me a lot of pain. And then I had to deal with how real that was once his influence was gone. Um, and when you lose your covering, shit gets real. But to lose your covering and to not want to fuck with the Shluminati and still want to work on a career that you spent your whole life building while you're watching people that you know sit there and just stand by and watch these assholes try to erase everything that you, everything that you did. Give the credit to someone else. And, and, and people that you know are, are watching this happen saying nothing. You know, it's wild. And I will say, and we, we, we're not, we're not going to say the person's name, but there, there was an R and B singer who recently tested positive and he was taking it very hard. So Shitty. I was told. Shitty. And I just want people to know they want to party with these celebs and you want to hang out and you don't care about sleeping with them. I'm just here to let you know they still will go up in you raw. They don't care. No, they're going to. And if you'll say no, they'll just slip something in your food or your drink. And then once you're out, you can't say anything. You know, that was the hardest thing about working behind the scenes, um, especially when I was working as a roadie for rappers, because you really got to see all of their nasty little behaviors. Wow. And they were nasty. And then you would see them in relationships with these women who were really believing, you know, that they were, there was love there, that there was something real there. And they, they're thinking that these guys are pining away for them while they're out on the road. They saddled them with a baby to make sure that they, you know, they got restraints on them at home, put that low jack on them. And then literally the bus pulls off and the first, you know, truck stop, we stop, they looking for a hooker. Mm. But they get their dick sucked. Like, you know, you see them do the nastiest shit. And then you see them pretend with the women in their life. And I hated working in that capacity, like I said, because it made me feel like a traitor to women. Wow. Because whether these chicks know it or not, whatever they think they hustling, these niggas is going to get the better of you at every turn because it's set up for them to even the slickest chick is still gonna catch an L Damn. fucking with the game um, but the ones who don't see it coming the ones who are really 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 caught up in the fantasy of it all like those were the worst the ones who thought that when they came to this concert this was the best night of their life because This rapper wanted to invite them to the hotel. This They didn't know he was a sexual sadist. Because they've been selling this image of him. And they don't realize that you're, you're, you're not the girl of his dreams. You're the victim of his night. Like Andre Hall. No. You mean Aaron? Aaron Hall. Aaron Hall, my bad. Aaron Hall, yes. And that shit kills me. Especially now, because I don't harbor any ill will against Aaron, but we all know he's a rapist. Everybody mm. knows that. Everybody knows. This isn't a this isn't a secret. All of us women in the business warned the younger women and even the regular groupies. Don't be alone with him. Damn. We all did that. 
I don't know no woman in the business that I have not ever seen warn another female about the danger that is Aaron Hall. And I'll never forget one night I put my yeah. yard down around him. And I saw how quickly he snapped into that mode. Mm. And I'm like, yeah, I'm moving around. Because I'll shoot you. i shoot you right in your face. Yeah. And he was drunk as shit and high as fuck. And that's the other thing that people don't realize. When they go off into these little psychotic sexual states, most of them are fucking three sheets to the wind. They gone. They gone. Self. They gone. Yeah. No excuse, but they but they do be high as No, fuck. it's not an excuse, but it is a handicap. Because if motherfuckers didn't want artists being drug addicts, they wouldn't make sure that drug dealers are a part of the culture. They wouldn't make sure that prostitutes are a part of the culture. They wouldn't make sure that everywhere they go, there is a full bar, yeah. even for baby showers. Like, if there should be a dry event, it should be like a christening, a baby shower, you know. You would think, you would think, you would think. Not yeah. fucking everybody with baby bottles with Ciroc on it. The fuck you mean? <laughs> <laughs> so, so, speaking of rapists, how do you feel about the fact that Diddy and, and Aaron Hall ran trains together? I'm not surprised. MCA, Uptown. That was common. Wow. Ask Wendy Williams. That did happen to her too. And it was women that set that up. Because they didn't like her swag and they were afraid that she was going to steamroll them because they knew when it came to creating content, that bitch was a G. So they put you in a bad situation. They tell you that the guy is okay, even though everybody knows he's the fucking boogeyman. And then they tell that guy, she's easy. She slept with this one. She slept with that one. Then they call somebody and say, hey, you remember? Yo, didn't you used to date Wendy? Yo, yo, tell him about how easy she was. Wow. And then they gas this nigga up. And then the next thing you know, she out at dinner and this motherfucker tuned up. And they done already made sure that he done got five grams of coke or eight ball. Like, I'm not saying that people don't have choices. I'm saying that there are people that stack the deck to make sure that people lean more towards making bad choices than not. You know, I can speak of a legacy that, in my opinion was miterated, really, really, really fucked over for the sake of sparing a legacy that was totally untrue. Mm. Teddy Pendergrass. Explain it, explain it. Everyone talks about his demise because it all began with the car accident and him with the transgender woman. Oh, on Lincoln Drive in Philadelphia. Anybody from Philly knows the curve. We know the exact curve. No different than in Dallas. They they got the X marks the spot where Kennedy got popped. It's the same thing in Philly when it comes to the Teddy Pendergrass mm. crash. And the part that I have a problem with, because I'm about to hurt a lot of people's feelings right now. But Philly's fucked all the shit. So maybe if we start telling the truth, some things can change. There were three people in that car. Not two. Mm. Uncle Teddy and the transgender woman was in the front seat. But there was another woman in the back seat. Her husband was an NBA star. Her husband's name was Julia Serving. Her name was Turquoise. 
and she was a disruptor behind the scenes for many years. She fucked over a lot of people for the labels. When they needed somebody tuned up, somebody done this, they talk, they called turquoise. She's the one that brought the transgender woman, the cocaine and the alcohol into that car. And when the crash happened, the Sixers made sure that a fixer came to get turquoise out and make sure that her name never made it to the press. And instead, they left Teddy Pendergrass to look like he was just some wild freakazoid that had lost his mind. And he ended up in a wheelchair for the rest of his life. Wow. And yet, the person who was the facilitator has never been mentioned publicly until now. Wow. You know what that sounds similar to? What? The Kevin Hart crash. Mm. Mm, another Philly. Oh, yeah. I'm just saying because we heard nothing else about that. Supposedly he crashed, he broke his back in two places and was able to... And, I, and ain't nobody seen his brother since. Oh, we. Oh, we. I want to see Kevin Hart shoot a game of pool. I want to see him play nine ball. <laughs> we got 10K in the chair, baby. Yo, Look Storm, you owe me 50 bucks. Because <laughs> you did say that. <laughs> you did say that. You did say that. You did. You did. <laughs> but seriously, though, like, he supposedly broke his back in two places and then walked to you his... You nigga just bopping around. Yeah. Cheating on, cheating on his wife with women. Why? That ain't his flavor. That ain't the flavor that he's saving. Why was why was Shaq uh, giving him back shots on that BET show? I don't know. Why does The Rock hold him like a little baby and he looks so safe? <laughs> don't tell me they run it through Kevin Hart. I don't give like no fuck how shut you are. You don't let no grown man cradle you. You cradled. I hate it. I'm happy to be famous. Thank you. He does look like he'll do anything for fame, don't he? That's what his wife say. I mean, his real wife, his first wife, his wife, wife, not his handler. So we, we don't we we don't acknowledge earwax as his wife. <laughs> she says she be loves Kevin. She says she she's in love deeply with him. If. She were white, I would believe it. Mm. If she were white, that I could go for. If she were Jewish, definitely go for it. But it's the whole Asian Bangkok little boy thing, like the Chrissy Teigen girl. Oh. She looked like a little Bangkok. Cock cock. But we remember them Twitter posts from Chrissy when she was talking about the Tyler Tierras and the piece of this and piece of that. And we remember. Hangover part three. Standings. Yeah. Bangkok. Meanwhile, you know, you got John Stevens and Lonnie Lynn struggling with their broke back. You know, I just. I know, I know. It's very Gyllenhaal ledger. It's it's a lot. So you what? Know, one of them looking like Guy Smiley, and the other one getting dumped by you know. Oh my god! Talk show host. <laughs> <laughs> so why do so many men in the industry love the transgenders? What do you mean? It's two for one. But when I say that, my, the ladies that watch me don't believe me. I let you tell them. 
They don't believe two for one. Yeah, you get the, you get it all. You get a little twig and berry. Titties at the top. I mean, dig at the bottom. Yeah, and you still got a bussy. And yeah, yeah, yeah. You know the right loop, one for all. You gain you right in. I mean, and especially in LA when you go to the swingers clubs, Aubrey O'Day. Oh, that's all. That's I don't go to swingers clubs in LA because they make me feel. Like clutch my pearls, and I'm wild. Like that's why I tell people if I'm outraged by it, motherfucker, this shit is bad. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's bad. If, if I don't think it's bad, it's really bad. Please. Oh. Who fucks transgenders that we don't know about? Like, who would they be surprised to hear? I.E. I I. He's a lovely British gentleman. I don't even know if he know. Oh, okay. I caught those initials. Oh my god! I don't even know if he know because she's good. I don't but think they caught. Wait, wait. Yeah, he's been seen with her twice though. Once in London and once in New York. What? And she's stunning. She post op. She got a fake coochie. You know what? Speaking of that, when uh, Kevin Gates was, he was having sex with this white transgender. Yeah. He, he didn't even know to he because he was eating her out, and then he said, "Hey, are you trans?" And she said, "Yes." And he went back to eating her out. So this here's my question. I got a question. There was another uh, transgender on Twitter. I think I can't remember her name, but she was exposing all those Miami football yeah. players. Listen okay. to me. When I first saw how Trey Songs was moving around, oh, especially in Miami, and it trips me out because I would remember watching him come out of, you know, one of my young boys' cribs. Because he would come down there and go to Star Island and then he would, you know, get the Maserati so he could, you know what I mean, flex around Biscayne Bay and Ocean Drive, you know, like all the little mini celebrities do. But then he would go and he would fuck off on my young boy and let my young boy use the Maserati. Mm. And so when I think about that, and then I think about that really disturbing footage of Bieber, Odell Beckham, and Trey songs. Yes. Like, and, and Trey's like literally sitting there playing lookout. Playing lookout as Justin Bieber goes down on Odell. The boy came up with his mouth wet. Mouth wet. What? Dribbling. Now, what they're going to try to say is, no, nah, Justin Bieber was just doing a line of coke. No, he didn't mess with his nose when he, he came up. He was doing a line of coke with his mouth. He wiped his mouth. When you do his come, mouth was wet. You do this when you finish your line. His you mouth, your mouth was you wet. That dick. wasn't post-nasal drip. That was seminal fluid. Chef. It was Odell Dick. But Diddy taught him well, right? The flavor freak off. Scooter Braun taught him well. Justin Bieber spent 48 hours with Diddy. Talking about we about to get it in. I'm going to let you drive the car when you 15. That boy ain't been the same since. Got all this anxiety. Face well, collapsed you know, from all the dick you heat and stuff. What Milk said is that expensive pain. Ooh. He would know. 
How many times me Milton gave that ass up? A parrot, listen to me. If he making songs about being expensive pain in expensive pain in his A's. Did you see him bunny hopping for those billionaires? No, Lord, Lord, I don't want to know. Look, they had him like <laughs> I told him four years ago, almost four years ago, I told him that boy was a victim. What I say? I said it right here with you. Motherfucking Charlie Mack took him to Will Smith house. He left that house fucking screaming. Then he ran over there to the fake Rick Ross. Fucking Rose fucking Zay. Pink Flowers. Sir, you want to be known as Pink Flowers. Somebody ought to pluck your petals. Now, he get down there to Miami, afraid to talk to niggas in Philly. Talking about everybody inside of me. I'm like, that's not possible. Philadelphia is Muslim. It's Islam. Ain't a whole lot of that. You know that. Then I find out he's spending all this time on Diddy Bo with Khaled. Oh! And what I will say is, is this. Once I found out he was over there with Khaled, I already knew. If Because he Khaled, he got a strong neck. You ever seen the way he eat a chicken wing? <laughs> Jack, he eat a lot, to be fair. Next time that nigga eat on camera, I want you to look at the fingers and everything. He don't leave nothing. <laughs> he could just be a fat nigga. <laughs> With a strong neck. So Is I it knew... Is this Meek big ass big I knew Meek was power bottoming. Wow. Well, he already done got the broke in. I just didn't know that that's why he was faking it with Nikki so that he would have an excuse to be up underneath the diddler. Because they, start, they started dressing the like Jag. You see that photo where they are? Yeah, just, just like how him and Mace used to. Oh, 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 oh. What you know about? Uh, 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 okay, to uh, be fair, now, now, wait, now, wait. Now, May said it was a big ass dildo in the bathroom, but May said it wasn't his. He was present with a large dildo. Well, he and lived he with Diddy at the time. Home. He said he was living with Diddy at the time. He was living with Diddy with a large dildo in the, and Shaggy is the best he can do. Nigga, you was dressed up in the matchy clothes too. The Diddy do I bop? Rodney done already said. Why ain't you got no stories about all that pressure if ain't nothing happened? Mm. You know, I feel the same way about Gil. You know, Gilly, they, they talking about Gil gatekeeping. He got Wallow running around off the chain, running around telling motherfuckers that they talk to Jag while their careers is over and shit. And I'm trying to figure out how the fuck you think you was the only underage motherfucker working down there under age 21 ain't get fucked over by Birdman because Birdman touched on everybody. 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 So can we say that Gilly got fucked by Birdman? I'm saying I don't know how he managed to get away. Oh, we. He got octopus hand. How he managed to get away? Everybody got fucked but him? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His raps are that great. Fuck you mean. So Nikki got fucked too? You, Minaj. I mean, who didn't she get a booty up to? 
Wait, that picture of her sucking Gucci's dick, was it real back in the day? it was real. She was scandalous in Florida. I admire the hustle. You know, when I see a woman who's able to reconcile herself with her whole slut, I, I ain't hating. Listen to me, Rihanna, same thing, pure whore. But when it comes to the whore game, Rihanna knows how to do it with class and she makes it artful. Nikki, it's like Rocky on Rocky Armor Show picture meets black exploitation meets Pornhub and the Village Voice back pages. It's just giving like SVU episodes in preparation. Now to be fair, Rihanna's Caribbean. I feel like they caught they just they are they, Nikki's Caribbean. Oh shit! Yes, she is. Never mind. See what I'm saying? It's the devil element. It's the demon. It's the uh, Polanskis. The Roman. Ain't that what she call herself? The Polanskis. Ro Roman Polanski. Yeah, you know. Roman Polanski. Was... Roman Polanski. Yeah, you yeah. got Roman. <laughs> she sent him to school. You got Mother Martha. Yeah. You know, it's just like you. You keep. Championing these sexual sadists, <laughs> Bro brothers. You know, could you imagine like talking to a little kid and asking him what he wants to be when he grows? They say, "Oh, I want to be just like Jeffrey Dahmer." <laughs> <laughs> what? You gonna smack the fuck out of that kid right to the dead? It's gonna be a knee jerk reaction. Like the good point. I don't know. Yeah, Nikki seems to be around a lot of pedophiles. I'll I'll say that. Around a lot. How about one? Her husband. The level three sex offender. A lifer. For life. For life. When we first started talking about it, I didn't even know at that time he was level three. I found out later. Because she kept telling everybody level two like she was trying to do damage control. <laughs> like, like, that's any fucking better. Like, bitch, you figured that. Look, let's just say he's in the middle. <laughs> say he's in the middle. Give them hope. <laughs> give them hope that he'll be off. We, we got to find this Jennifer bitch. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's go back to Birdman. Wait a minute. I just thought of some. So Fine. that means. So that means. What the hell was Birdman and Tony Braxton doing? What you mean? That couldn't have been real. Of course it wasn't real. So she knew it wasn't real. Everybody know. What was the they point? had a whole fucking like photo shoot in leggings with, with pointy boots on with his, his pot belly. You know, and he just sitting there get, giving him all the he's like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Did she just need a check? I think so. He did buy her a Bentley Bottega. Listen to me. At least she was looking for a check. Fucking, how do you explain Gabrielle Union? Oh, God. Bitch, you splitting bills with a nigga that's worth you four times your money, and you splitting bills with him. I don't understand that at all. Well, he said... Bitch, if you don't like what I'm doing in my house, get the fuck out. And she said, we're going to split these bills so you can't ever tell me what happens in my house. So you got to go broke to keep your man from bringing trannies home. Why not just find another man? Don't nobody want that bitch. <laughs> What's wrong with Gabby? She a little masculine, that's all. She ain't no Halle Berry. She ain't no Halle Berry. Her, her craziness knows limits. She ain't no Beyonce. Oh. You know, like, there's limits. Or is she down with the get down? Is she strapping she, on? Even a Jada. You know? She's not even as prestigious as a Regina King. Oh, damn. I mean, let's just be honest about old Gab. You just called her a D-list actress, then. I mean, she be on the D. <laughs> she ride the D. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I'm just trying to figure out. So your husband wants to be a woman. You mad at Diddy because Diddy want to throw him a party, but that's who he's been partying with. You know this nigga is, is taking it. Clearly, he's a receptacle because he wants to become a receiver. He wants to become a woman. So this nigga be getting slammed, right? You know this shit. But do she want to wear the strap? Why not just wear the strap? No, but my thing is, is this nigga sucking all kinds of dookie dick. And you kissing this nigga. And going broke to pay half the bills. Yeah, I ain't going half. I ain't going half to, to smell feces. I ain't going half. Fuck that shit. They can tell you all my shit, G. <laughs> like you you snipping ass. I just can't I just I, I can't believe it, but I can't believe it. So so oh my god, yo, that's crazy. So how many times did you get some fresh air? I'm going up to the room. Do you okay. mind? Can I take you up to the roof with me? For sure. All right. I'm. I'll be. I'm, I'm here. I'm here. Oh, okay. So, how many times did Birdman fuck Drake? I don't know, but he and Aubrey look very close, very familiar. I can see why Kendrick detests him. Why you say that? Cause Aubrey is such a little scamp. He's just a little tramp. You know, he liked to act a fool in the strip clubs with the girls, but then he want to toss it up with the fellas. And it's just, you know, can you imagine being Kendrick and just sitting there like, I got to fucking compete with that. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, he, like, I can totally see Kendrick also <laughs> like, yeah, he's, you think he's the greatest? This fucking clown ass. <laughs> like, <laughs> So who you think gave Birdman the would, best? Who you think gave Birdman the best pussy? I loads of money for fucking thought bubbles over Kendrick Lamar head at the fucking like award shows. I would give good money for that. But let me ask you, who do you think gave Birdman the best pussy, Drake or Wayne? Oh, I don't know. I would have to say it's a tie because they both bring different things to the table. Ooh. You know, Wayne was a young one. You know, he was tender. Very he popped his cherry. Popped his cherry. So, you know, yeah. there's a special thing there. But Aubrey was, you know, he, he's just so devoted. So loyal. <laughs> <laughs> and light-skinned. He, he loyal to anything that ain't, ain't female. <laughs> <laughs> he a down-ass nigga when it comes to them dudes. <laughs> You know what though? The I think I, I think I think Birdman and Wayne gonna always have the tightest relationship because that's daddy. Wayne call him daddy. I know. And guess what? Well, it, it, think about that. Now think about the Diddy. Think of a no, hashtag no Diddy, no Diddy. Like no daddy. <laughs> I like the way you do that, Daddy. Oh no, you working hard, Daddy. You working hard, Daddy. Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh my God! Oh my! Ooh, ooh. I'm just still thinking about the kissing your husband and smelling diddy shit. They all got used to it after a while. Mm -hmm. How you get used to it? Oh, I'm just uh, about all that expensive pain. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. <laughs> okay, I'm you. You want to roof? Right they want to see me, you, Dad. Yeah, me, all right, hold on. Let me drop down for a second. I'll, I'll call you when I get to the roof. Okay. Okay. Drop down briefly. Oh my God, that's a lot. <laughs> people. We are getting into a lot apparently tonight. <laughs> she ate his bussy, so she. That's what I'm saying. Gabrielle ate the bonky, the the Bucci cat, the bonky cat, whatever you want to call it. So I'm pretty sure. She got used to it. They must all be on that pink snow. Listen, I need to know what is pink cocaine. 
I've seen cocaine with a blue tint. What the hell is pink cocaine? What the hell is that? You said, didn't Diddy send us to the hospital too much booty? Mm. We got a whole lot to get into, people. We got a whole... <laughs> it's ex oh, it's ecstasy mixed with the coke. Wow. Wow, let's see if she... Not yet. Okay. Hold up. Wow. Ecstasy and coca. Wow. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. That's wild. Jericho White must have a crystal ball to have sight of everything. Listen, listen. She told y'all years ago. You want to know about the 70s? There you go. But what about all those loans that he took out on his home? What? Hold up, not shit. I didn't even know about that. How about Tristan Thompson, the zesty dinosaur? <laughs> this is a lot. This is a lot. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Said Diddy has no money. Well, he don't have access to it. Eight, eight mortgages? What? Oh, that shit is wild. That shit is wild. Watch all oh, news. Diddy owes the bank 104. Damn. And let me tell y'all something. Don't y'all ever feel bad about the debt that you in. Don't you ever feel bad about being broke, money being tight, shit getting repossessed filing bankruptcy these these celebrities be broke as fuck too quiet as it's kept most of the world is struggling there's different levels to struggling but pretty much everybody heard he's supposed to be damn near a billionaire how he got eight loans out on a house come on now Let's see if she's ready you ready well i think she's just trying to do one second Okay. All right. How you got eight mortgages on a house? I didn't even know they did. You said, I got hella student loans. Don't even worry about that. So what? Trump struggling too, yo. What about Al B? Where did seeing Christopher Williams come in and all this? Mm. How do you get eight mortgages? That's what I want to know. Literally, that's what I want to know. Stormtail Jaguar, I would not be surprised if you helped make this Diddy takedown happen. You know I've been on Diddy ass for the longest. Pause. You already know. All right. You good? Yeah, one second. Oh. I just had to get up here. I'm <laughs> here on the roof. Okay, okay. My raw cone just blew down. Oh. Uh, can you hear us though? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Let yes. me get set up. Okay. Oh. Okay. All Here right. <laughs> so they, so they, 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 they want me to ask you about but Beyonce it's, it's and like Jay-Z. windy and dusty. Oh, shit. They want me to ask you about Beyonce and Jay-Z. What about them? The fact that Beyonce was sold to him. That was the deal that her father made. So she never had no say in it. She was the family business. Did Michael Jackson have a say in anything that happened at Motown? No, he didn't. Had to do it for the family, though, didn't he? So that means she really, she really can't even divorce him. She's just stuck. No, she can divorce him legally, but they got much deeper ties. Mm-hmm. 
Interesting. Well, it is interesting that Beyonce was sold because you did say her daddy was a pimp. He just got snaked. That's all. He got saved. No, he got snaked. Snaked. Okay. Yeah. Jay-Z promised him a much bigger part of the pie. Much bigger. Then he turned daughter against father and told daughter all the terrible things that her father did to mother. Mother had been crying on the shoulder. You should find another shoulder to cry on. Maybe that's why your husband left. You didn't need his shoulder. You had Jay-Z's. Wait a minute. Are you saying Tina fucked Jay-Z? I'm saying it's all in the family. What? That's why Solange so terrible. Because Solange ain't going for it. She's the real talent. She's the one with real integrity. Wait a and minute. The way she's been treated, it's it's disgusting. But did you see how at Jewel's uh, you know, he wanted to be a little porn star releasing these tapes, but did you see him at his fashion show? Salons did not sit with the family. She has been exiled. That's why I'm curious to see if she's actually going to sit with Liz Crokin. Because if she does that. She loves her sister. Because mm. there's no way she's going to sit with Liz Crokin and tell her the truth about Kathy White. What happened to Kathy White? Someone asked she- Someone should ask Beyonce. Wow. Somebody should ask, what was the report, the arson report for her childhood home that burned up over the holidays? Oh, wow. Somebody should ask, why were they so interested in going back to visit? Maybe somebody should ask what was in those fucking walls. Wow. So Beyonce is not innocent like she likes to play. She's not innocent. Your daddy was a pimp. Your mama was a hoe. You claim all royal ratchetness from Houston to New Orleans. Where was their innocence? Ever. Mm. Never fall for a big butt and a smile or wide hips. (laughs) Did she really give birth to Blue Ivy or is that Solange? No, everybody knows. And ain't nobody seen that surrogate since. Mm. So who's Blue Ivy real mama? Well, I, I believe it was all in vitro. It's Beyonce's egg. Okay, okay. She just remember back at that time, she had just started learning how to manage her weight. She was a solid 16 when she was at the end of uh, Destiny's Child. The meal plan that she's on is only 1,200 calories a day still. Damn. And with all of that exercise that she does, that's why she's usually treated for exhaustion and dehydration two or three times a year. You got to ask yourself, what kind of fucking woman keeps an IV in her bedroom? <laughs> like, really? You need to put in an IV flush when you go to bed at night? Damn. Killing yourself. And your family is okay with you killing yourself. Just like Michael Jackson was killing himself. So you're telling me she's on drugs too? Of course she is. To perform four or five hours straight. Y'all don't remember that time she fell She fell down on stage and it looked like she broke her leg and the bitch popped up like the fucking reanimated man. I said, God damn it, they got that damn step foot chip in her. <laughs> allegedly, allegedly. Allegedly. Who the fuck know? He got the neural link and that ain't alleged. That's real. Damn. He got that, that uh God chip. Damn. 
think this is wild, yo. But the thing that's tripping me out is that everybody's missing the lineup. Like, people should be interviewing D. Haven right now and asking him to go through the DNA of the way Jay-Z lined him up. Sit down and talk with Dane Dash about the nature of his lineup. Sit down with R. Kelly and ask him about the nature of his fucking lineup. Sit down with somebody from Houston and ask them how the lineup happened with fucking Pimp C. Ask some goddamn questions. So the sex tape with Pimp C and Beyonce was real? Of course it was real. All her tapes is real. How many tapes she got? She got to have at least 40 of them. They buy them out all the time. That's why everybody got to get the non-disclosure. The nigga don't ask. Oh my God. That's how Jake and Edge made their money. As sure as shit wasn't off of music. Oh my God. When they ran that train on them and they had it on tape. They ran the train on Destiny's Child. Yeah. What? That summer when they was all on tour together and then the tour instantly ended and they said it was because Destiny's Child was going out on the road with the Backstreet Boys and they tried to whitewash it all over and Michael Wright did the big, I believe that's his name, Michael Wright, the manager for the Backstreets and the NSYNCs and the Britneys. Look at how their lives turned out, how lovely. Anyway, yeah. you know, so... They put that whole thing together and they tried to make it seem like they ended the nigga tour because of the white tour. Mm. But the truth is they had they needed a good excuse to explain why, you know, the nigga don't ask got signed, a couple million got passed around, tapes got bought. Yeah. That's why. Damn. Yeah. You ain't the never noticed. Know this- Jagged Edge don't be in no rush to put out no music. No, they don't. And they can afford to do it all themselves. I guess they had a nice bankroll. Now, some people were saying it was because of Matthew Knowles trying to fuck on them girls. I mean, you liable to do anything. Drunk, high on crack, feeling yourself. You did say he was a crackhead. Number one, you heard with the girl, the, the thug, pastor. Yep. She told you she snorted the powder with him. She told you she done that cocaine. <laughs> Shout out to the thug pass to the Tia, Tia billionaire. Do you think do you think Jay-Z really fathered Kelly Rowland's first child? With him? Mm-hmm. Anything's possible. He collects women. He lays with men. Jay Z lays with men. Of course he does. You know, I think the oddest thing in the world is looking at videotapes of him having sex with another man and watching him and knowing how. So comfortable. You know who else I was told, and, and she won't. She and like, I'm not her, saying allegedly. I understand. I understand. I will not list the name of my source. I, I don't yes, list my source. I names. have seen Sean Carter having sex with another man. You saw someone that. I know, someone that's very close to me. Well, I know someone that. Saw a tape of Kanye West fucking Will I Am. You want to know what's sad? Someone said something about my brother Ricky Corrupt from Dog Pound. Mm. And that was the hardest conversation to have because I know what they do to us. They get them drunk. They keep them drunk. They get them high. They keep them high. They break the stats and the circumstances. 
them. You wow. give somebody enough of something. And yeah. see, they had to videotape it all. Just like that guy caught Justin Bieber on his knees. Literally. That's how it works. And then they take that and, and they use it for ransom. It would explain his disdain if he had been drugged. Wow. A third of the men that I know that they, they got victimized. They didn't even remember it happened. I was. They saw the tape. Yeah. I, I was also told about a situation where a guy woke up and he could not walk because his ass was just in pain. His... You can't tell me that's not demon possession. Yeah. You can't tell me that. What would make you want to take something so beautiful and turn it into something so vile? Human connection, regardless of what your orientation, is a beautiful thing. Yeah. What kind of grown man justifies essaying a young man like Usher to the point where he has to be taken to the hospital? Yeah. So you got to ask yourself what kind of broken Usher is because he's the one that brought Bieber to Diddy. Yep. And then was surprised when Bieber said, I don't want to show up at your Super Bowl performance. Instead, he was on his knees giving another performance. You know, speaking again on your knees. He would rather been on his knees sucking off Odell Beckham than be at the goddamn Super Bowl. That tell you something. That says a lot. Speaking of sucking dick, um, the lady that I was supposed to interview that was in the industry said that Ray J sucked a good dick as well. He a diddy do I buff? He is. Is that why? Is that why Ray J he can't say his faithful? calling? He should be a porn star, so he ain't got to be no whack ass gatekeeper running around messing around with innocent lives. Just mm. go on ahead. And then you can take your half a voice and you can score your own movies. Go and do something with yourself. Do something. You can start off with I hit it first, even though you was married to another woman while you was talking about another married woman because you just can't let it go. Now, I saw why the tape. Why don't he go on and get back with Kim now? Just let him. They they both sing, but listen, I saw the tape. They should be you, together, shouldn't they? They should give it. A, they should do a part two. But here's the crazy thing: what? there's three tapes. The public has seen two. What's on the third tape? They can call the sex tape Schluminati Confidential. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know what's on that third tape. I don't know. Maybe maybe somebody joined them. Maybe, because maybe, maybe, maybe the person that was directing decided to get involved. I mean, because Chris Jenner watched all. Maybe of them. like, maybe like, you know, she no, 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 she edited, she critiqued, she went over positions, camera play. Go back, do them like that. I guess, I guess she just. You know, better. I don't know. Maybe there was something that reminded, you know, gave an OJ feeling. Ooh. That's for our now. You know, they all like making they, they, you know, they like to spin the block. Like Madonna. You know, she was very into Tupac. And then she tried her hand with Kendrick Lamar. You know. 
it's just it's that second chance dick you know <laughs> that make a motherfucker work a little harder you know i missed it the first time but god damn it <laughs> <laughs> bitch i'm gonna spend the block and come back and get this shit <laughs> Ooh, yeah second chances indeed <laughs> That is in fucking sane. <laughs> but is that why Ray J can't stay faithful? Because he's he's just fucking everybody. Well, my thing is, is what is there to stay faithful to? His Y'all wife. homosexual, but he's homosexual. Just like the Stevie J. Like when it started coming out about Stevie being in the free call tape, I said, I can hear Jocelyn right now. No, Stevie, no. <laughs> CB, you been as false. <laughs> I manage you now, CB. CB, I got it. <laughs> Lord. But that's the thing. And that's the part of the conversation that I really I really want to get into. All of these yes. women know that these men are gay. Going in. 50 Cent Baby Mama. You knew you was fucking around with booty bandits, so why are you sitting here pretending like you're a victim? Oh, we. Don't do that. Just say you want more money every month. Who knows? Maybe he'll give it to you. But to play this game and to use his sexuality against him, knowing that he's not going to say nothing about it, whack. Shut the fuck up, Daphne. Da- Daphne, Tiffany, the fuck Tiffany. I don't fucking know all these lying bitches got a knee at the end. <laughs> fucking knee bitches. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> My point is everybody's playing this game, but nobody's paying attention to the fact that all of these men, for the most part, that we're talking about are gay. And they've been tricking you Black women into chasing after gay men. Ooh. And then you wonder why when you get around a real man, you don't know how to act and it feels awkward to you because you've been chasing after gay men like Will Smith. You've been chasing after gay men like Dwayne Wade. You've been chasing after gay men like the Diddy Bop. You've been chasing after gay men like Jay-Z. You've been chasing after gay men like Rick Ross. Oh. You've been chasing after gay men like Meek Mills. Oh. I don't even know why, but they do. You've been chasing after gay men like fucking Khaled. You've been chasing after gay men like Birdman. Oh. You've been chasing after gay men like... I'm sorry. <laughs> How would you know a real man when he showed up? You can't stand a nigga unless his pants are stuck all the way up his ass. You've been chasing after gay men like Young Thug. You've been chasing after gay men like Takashi 69. Obvious. You've been chasing after gay men like Lil Nas X. Swearing to God you're going to turn him straight. <laughs> You've been chasing after gay men like Travis Scott. Oh. You've been chasing after gay men like um, all y'all are fixated on is gay men. That would make all of you fag hags. Oh no, no. <laughs> How about you stop lusting after gay men? Like Stevie J. How about you stop lusting after sodomites who injure young boys like Robert Kelly? How about you stop chasing after gay men? Maybe you might be able to spot you real men. But then he's got to get used to you being a fag hag. (laughs) Oh, honey, come on. Just try for my panties. I ain't a rod, bitch. (laughs) (laughs) 
What about ASAP Rocky? Oh. He said he pretty. Christopher Williams was pretty too. Damn. Wait, Jack. after gay men. So who's straight? The ladies in the chat want to know who's straight. Everybody that I didn't mention. <laughs> they can't even look at Barack Obama. His wife can. <laughs> oh my God! Let me ask you: What about Tyler Perry? Oh, everybody know he's swish. I'm just tired of him fronting on it. Like, now it's just Southern pride and stubborn. Just come on out. Everybody didn't see T.D. popping off. They didn't see you put your hands on They're talking about he pregnant by you, pushing out the baby. Wow. Come on out. Tyler Perry got T.D. Jakes pregnant. That's what they said to push out the baby. And he was sitting there twerking on the dais. And the woman, push that baby out. And Tyler Perry just sitting there after he laid his hands on. I said, this must have been like a a freak off memory. You know? Oh, wow. So T.D. Jakes was really getting fucked. Allegedly. Well, we don't want to say too much because... We don't want to get you in trouble. We know how much he hates your commentary. <laughs> but what I'm going to say is, is this, only hit dogs holler. Ooh, we. And you squealed, sir, while you was being swallowed up. Swallowed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love that when you did that. I said, go on, bring in the new year. Shaming <laughs> that demon. Yeah. That people to me is God is, 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 is Son-in-law is touching kids, his daughters is freaking off. His Stealing son, kids, his daughter married to a gay man. Kids. You don't need to go home, little girl. The, the wife is a drunk. <laughs> it's a lot. You should see his kids in Papados, boy. They act like they ain't never been outside. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Everybody want to know who it is. Everybody want to know about LeBron. What about him? Is he cheating on Savannah? Of course. He's an NBA fan. That's what they do. Is it true he really like white girls? I don't know what's true about LeBron. His story is so squeaky clean. Mm. Very squeaky clean. What I do know is, is that he spends time with a bunch of sodomites. And his image is more important to them, to him. And, you know, I mean, let's just be honest. We already know one of the, you know, the girls from the Lakers family owners. We know. You know, they paid a stud fee. Damn. Damn. All the white did- women involved with all that black dangling, and you telling me they ain't getting no stud? Yeah, they studding. You ain't see the way that white woman was all up in his face with her I hand did. on his knee. I did. Oh um, yeah, and she's sitting there letting him know, get it warmed up, Sparky. Gonna <laughs> earn next season. <laughs> Damn. You know, why did Why did Vivica Fox do all that shit to her face? I don't know. I wish I understood it. I feel the same way about Lil' Kim face. Mm. I feel the same way about Jada Pinkett face. What is up with our black folks that they don't like the way they look getting older? Look look at Cicely Tyson. Amazing. Look at Felicia Rashad. What yep. happened to us growing old beautifully and gracefully? Trying to please all these faggots. That's the 
<laughs> they do it all for the fact. They do. And I'm not saying I'm not saying the F word to be mean. But you know, if it doesn't apply, let it fly. Damn. Because um, there's a big difference between a gay man and a fag. Just like there's a big difference between a black man and a nigga. You're right. I gave you that. Trust me. Gay men are just as ashamed of faggots as the rest of us. <laughs> oh my God. Everybody want to know if Aaliyah dying was a sacrifice. Of course it was. Mary J. Blige said it first. Oh. On 106 in Park with Free and AJ. And then had the audacity to go straight into autocorrect and blame her for it. Blame her for her own demise. Wow. When the truth is, you were terrified. Imagine if you had to spoke up there, Mary. How many young women wouldn't have been victimized? Well, Mary act like she's ready to speak up now. Well, she, is she ready to speak up about all the shit she done? What did Mary is do? Is J-Lo ready to speak up about all the shit she done? What did J-Lo do? J-Lo is just as heavy-handed with a dildo as any other sadist. Wow. There's a reason why did he like her so much. She was strapping him? Of course. Oh. You have to. Expensive pay. <laughs> wow. Yeah, J yeah, J Lo is a witch. She's into she's a Santerian priestess. Yeah, she's into the Santeria. Yeah, yeah. Big, yeah. High but more rank. importantly, she's not being honest about the fact why Shine had to give up his life, years of his life, to cover her and Diddy on an ego fest. She was pissed off about one thing. He was pissed off about another, and that gun went off. The question is, when the gun came out of your purse, was it in your hands or his? Ooh. And why did you run back to Ben Affleck? Right before his exposure hit, did someone give you a hint? Did someone tell you it was coming, Jennifer? Mm. Is that why you ran back to Ben? Because mm. he know you're not in love. Ben no look at and apparent he drunk and apparently he can't, you know, make you happy. What? You know part of the reason why he didn't marry her the first time because she had that sex clause in there about he had to have sex with her five nights a week for at least an hour. She actually put that in the goddamn fucking... <laughs> I'd have been okay with this. <laughs> she, she put that shit in the free. <laughs> ben can't get it up. Well, if you're drunk and miserable that you stuck with this it's child trying to help out so Diddy won't get her. <laughs> wow. Dinner time must be awesome in their house. I can only imagine. I feel bad for the kids. But you know, Jennifer Connolly, the good Catholic white girl, he married and had children with. Who loved him through his alcoholism. Raised his kids. Shame you ain't gonna get those kind of memories, Jim. You know. <clears throat> these motherfuckers ain't. They done too much. I'm Damn. sick and tired of people just omitting facts. I'm going to go back inside. It's starting to get chilly and it's hella windy. Okay. Oh, that mountain. 
I'm finally going to get to come out hiking next week here. I'm excited for you. So am I. I'll be right back. Okay. Well, we got to, we, 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 uh, I mean, listen, listen, I didn't know that J-Lo was heavy with the scrap, allegedly, allegedly. Wow. Baby said, don't be a transphobe. I'm not no transphobe. If the coochie fake, the coochie fake. That's about the Migos. I can't even keep. I can't even keep up with the chat. We we at uh, thirteen thousand seven hundred. I see we topped out at like thirteen thousand eight hundred. Shout out to almost fourteen thousand of y'all. Shout out to the haters that wanted to go live at the same time as me. Thought they were stopping some shit and they did not. And they did not. She was willing to do anything. That's how she got it on in Living Color. Wow. I'm just saying. But a strap. I... <laughs> too much it's too much it's too much what what happened with young miami that's a good question everybody on live tonight yeah 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 kathy white we talked about kathy white that's why i always say these celebs they got dirt on them should not be idolized that's a fact That's a fact. Yeah, I know. She meant Jennifer Gardner, not Connolly. Did she do Kenan Ivory Williams? I mean, she didn't really do good at the audition, so that's kind of your answer right there. That's what I've been waiting for, Miss Jaguar, to spill more beans and confirm. Yeah, she literally been spilling beans. What do you think of Beyonce's new album? I haven't really listened to it yet. What do y'all think about the new album? Everyone in the music industry and especially pastors being exposed next year to 2025. Oh, yeah. Asked her about fines for Bentley. Oh my God. You know what I thought about when Chris Sean said he Lemmy got yoked up by Diddy. That's all I can say. I couldn't believe Beyonce did a meet and greet. Yeah, me either. I was shocked at that. Uh, I think the earth and Amrick told us this was going to go down during COVID so much coming out. This is crazy facts. Star. <laughs> Give me just one second. We have to check something. We, they just wanted to make sure everything was okay. Okay. All right, so I'll be right back. But I'm okay. listening. For sure. Um, let's see. Corinne Stephens. Yeah, Corinne Stephens is quiet. But I mean, Corinne Stephens exposed this stuff years ago. Do you see what I'm saying? So it's kind of like there's no point in even her coming out now when she literally talked about this 20 years ago. What about the game? That's a good question. Kanye said he sacrificed himself to save Diddy boyfriend that used to carry the umbrella. Wow. They get it because of the monster men in the business who tell us we must be beautiful, AKA Eurocentric light, disgusting, sad. We allow men to dictate. Will we, will we, Um, Jennifer Garner mom approved of her, but not Jenny. (laughs) 
on that island scam hit the media. Once that island scam hit the media, the information continues to be exposed. That's a fact. That's a fact. Ask Ava Baroni, aka Ava Baldwin. What? That is hilarious. What about so what about Saucy Santana? You already know what it is with him. Saucy ain't tried to hide nothing. Hey, Storm, I'm here. Okay, you you back? Yeah, I'm getting squared away now. I'm just moving some things around. Um, because I want to just be a little more comfortable. You know what? Never mind. I'm going to go back. Because how much longer are we going to be here? Because honestly, you know how our chats are. We we never, we, we, get, we never get through enough. I know. I know. We can always come back for a part two. Well, one thing that I definitely want to talk about before we, you know, parlay too heavy because the truth is, is with all the things that we talked about in the past, yes, everything has bubbled to the fore. It has. Little by little, like a little time release capsule. And now here we are, and boom, we got full implosion. And now everybody's just like, but what about this? But what about that? But what about this? And we're just getting started. Yeah. You know, me and you were talking about when we were prepping for this this conversation today, the 50th anniversary of hip hop. Yes. Is it accurate? What would hip hop be like if Tupac were still alive? Who would have been number one on the list? Mm. If Biggie were still alive, who would have been in the top five on that list if Coolio were alive and properly acknowledged, even in his death, if Pimp C were alive, Oof. if Nipsey Hussle were alive? And it's funny because even the people that are alive, who they're unaliving little by little, J. Cole. I feel like J. Cole is being bullied. Why, though? Because after Nipsey passed away, J. Cole was definitely in line to be the closest, to be able to even come close to filling those shoes. He had his production set up. I mean, come on. Earth Gang, Dreamville, Ari Lennox, like... Why isn't J. Cole more? And he's positive. He's not on no fuck shit. He's not. Oh, somebody called you. I'm sorry. Can you hear me okay? Uh, yeah, I think you got a call that had came in. Yeah, I need to put my phone on Do Not Disturb. Hold on a second. <laughs> I keep forgetting I have to do that sometimes. Um, yeah, no, but... um. He's a positive dude overall. I'm sorry. I You're guess one last came through. <laughs> so, but he's a positive dude overall. Totally. Um, I would say he's the most comparable to Kendrick. Kendrick is just a lot more disciplined and and, and regimented and focused. Okay. Like he's fixed. He's not going to be moved. Um, J. Cole comes off to me more as a pacifist. Uh, mm -hmm. But still aggressive with his conversation. Like when he when he barrels into a community issue, he, he makes sure he touches every little thing. That's why I love his work. And it's just like, why, why isn't he more present? Why is Drake, who was for real, for real, socially and culturally 
not really that fucking relevant. Talented? Yes. Beast mode? When it comes to art? Yes. But direction and purpose? Not really. Okay. Not a voice for the future. You know, I keep telling everybody, if we really, really, really want to get serious about all of this shit we talk, we need to have a conversation about why we're not boycotting drill music. Mm. Grand Theft Auto music. You know what I mean? Like, Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> You know, the, these 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 rappers who are now creating all of these street scenarios. And it's like these kids don't even care that they're dying for it because somewhere along the way they got tricked into believing that if they do, they're going to be famous forever. It reminds me of like how in Islam overseas, like the really militant, you know, war minded ones, how they promise the young men that if you strap on all of this C4, if you strap on all of this, you're going to have a million virgins in heaven and you're going to be rich and rich and all you got to do is give your life for it. And I feel like that's the kind of the, the same kind of spiel that they selling with drill right now. Does that make sense? Because these kids are dying. And they're, yeah, but they're, they're not, they're, they're charging for it. They're not taking the death a, a, a Vaughn and, and, and Pop Smoke as, as a cautionary tale. They're taking it as a yo, that's what I gotta do to get on. We, we, we're not focusing on the right things. And I'm sitting there and I'm looking at them and they're heavy into this die culture, die for fame culture, die for fame culture. And then it takes me all the way back to Aaliyah. Mm. And then it makes me think of the parallel between Tory Lanez, Nipsey Hussle, Lisa Left Eye Lopez. But Aaliyah, why haven't we demanded more answers? After all this time, everyone is quick to agree that something is rotten in Denmark. Yes. With that. And everyone says it, even in the news reports, and yet no one has said it's time to talk to Hype Williams about why he didn't want Aaliyah to get on Lenny Kravitz's very, very, very wonderful and safe plane to get on the janky one that he forced her on. Which, by the way, she didn't get on willingly. She was drugged and carried on. Why does no one ask hype? What was so great about that piece of shit fucking soul plane? And why couldn't she walk on it by herself? Who we? Why did she have to be carried? She was terrified to get on that plane. Told Dame it didn't look right. Yep. Didn't understand why demands were made by the director for her to go on something that definitely didn't look better. And more importantly, Gave him the authority to tell her that she couldn't take Lenny Kravitz's plane. When the fuck are we going to talk to Hype Williams? Well, somebody has to be the one to call them out. Okay. We're calling you out. <laughs> calling you out. We've been here before. Uh, 
You're right. Three and a half years ago. Literally. We need to talk to Hype Williams. And we need to reopen that case. Absolutely. If there's nothing to hide, it shouldn't be a problem to reopen it. Not at all. Not at all. Rather than quickly tying up loose ends. Yep. Like they did with the death of Takeoff. Was that a setup? Of course it was. But in my opinion, from what I've gathered, it was a cover-up for an aggressive, corporate, hostile takeover. Mm. Rock Nation moving the Prince family out of power in Houston and claiming Megan the Stallion. Who allegedly would have said anything to keep Tory Lanez from telling people that she ain't all woman. You're saying Meg the Stallion is a transgender? I'm saying that a stallion is a male horse and a mare is a female horse. I'm saying what kind of black woman would work so hard to put an innocent black man in jail for a crime he didn't commit unless she was terrified about what he may say. You were the star. Kelsey was just your attache. Yet he seemed to be interested more in Kelsey than he was in you. And you had a big problem with that. Maybe he just liked real pussy. Maybe that's why you couldn't get him away from Kelsey. Maybe he didn't want to play Star Wars with you. You know what? Maybe that's why Nikki, who's your fucking chain, and you bow down every time. Maybe you ain't have a problem with crawling down there between Nicki Minaj's legs for that because you was already used to eating pussy as a man. <laughs> I tell you what I do know. A transgender person who is afraid to come out of the closet will lie about anything to keep their tea. Megan, the Trojan horse. Oh. So what do you think it's going to take for Farnsworth Bentley to come out of hiding? Jesus. At his front door. Because <laughs> he made a post and he said, if I get to talking, I'm going to blow all this shit up. He ain't lying. But I'm like, sir, get to talking. We want to know. He waiting for the payout. You know Diddy liquidating everything. <laughs> he having a liquidation sale. All, all, all dildos have price. <laughs> <laughs> but plugs five for one. Everything must go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> it's time for us to start asking for answers to questions that have done nothing but create PTSD in our society. Mm. I don't care what anybody says. When, when Biggie died, it hurt. When Tupac died, it was a scream. When Aaliyah died, the whole world got quiet. We need answers. When Lisa left I, Lopez, I mean, L Lisa Lopez left I, when she passed away, it was just, huh? And then to watch the effect 
that Nipsey had when he left us and for it to be so similar to Tupac when he left us and for in both investigations, everyone's hands were tied and nothing. How is this not social PTSD? It, it, yeah, you have a point. I mean, think, talk about when Whitney died. And how while she was dead in the tub floating, they was partying downstairs, upstairs. And Diddy was throwing the keynote, the, he was the key keynote speaker. My thing is, remember when she ran and had to give that note to Brandy and Monica? Yeah, after somebody tried to drown her in the pool. That's what I'm saying. She said they just tried to drown. Brandy up there like, bitch, you not dead. <laughs> I was waiting for your spot. I'm doing the bodyguard too as soon as you go. Now we broke down on this channel that Monica had did a music video like a few months before Whitney got killed and had Whitney on a t-shirt that she was wearing randomly. It was weird. It was just weird. Very strange. The signs were there. I'm just sick and tired of seeing celebrities cry out for help while the world watches saying, ooh, they acting strange. And then when they die, they just believe whatever these motherfuckers, the people that are responsible for their demise, like, mm. Tired of it. And I'm more tired of seeing Generation Z live out the sins of Generation X. Mm. They worship these niggas. The Jay-Z's, the Diddy's, the Rick Ross's, the... They worship these niggas. They do anything to beat them. So why don't they tell them the truth about who they are? So people can be sure about what they want to be. They should. Why don't y'all tell them you all dick sucking power bottom freak off you diddy bad diddy fried niggas? <laughs> why don't you say all you got to do is take down all of this dick and then suck these niggas off and you two can be just like me. See, they don't tell y'all that. When no, they tell you that I don't want to do it. No. <laughs> uh uh. But you're right. Do you think them niggas would be so quick to put them chains on if they knew the expensive pain involved? Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I guess it is kind of weird for one nigga to give another nigga a chain and put it around his neck because that's what you do to a woman. Oh, shit. I got the hottest bitch in the game wearing my chain. The question is, is the bitch male or female? Damn. Everybody assumed you was talking about Beyonce, but y'all niggas be wearing matching watches and shit. Matching clothes. They buy each other matching cars. Which bitch is he referring to? Y'all assume he was talking about Beyonce. <laughs> you sure what Memphis Bleak? He put oh, plenty of chains on his neck. Oh, this was a lot. Oh, Jesus. Uh, how does it feel to be vindicated? How does it feel for... Just how does it feel to be vindicated? I don't know yet. I tell you what I do know. How many women have been continued to be victimized in the past three and a half years? Mm. Because nobody wanted to believe me. How many women were afraid to speak up? Because Jaguar Wright spoke up and look at what they did to her. How many of you people, how, how many of you have deterred the Tierra Marie's 
the MIAs, the little mamas from coming forward. How many times did Cassie want to come forward before now after Kim passed away? But you naysaying motherfuckers. You ain't got to say I'm right. But God damn it, y'all need to start admitting that y'all was wrong. I'm just saying, they tried to take you down for speaking out. Yeah, they tried to take me out. And I'm not going to stop. Because the day that Cassie came forward, I cried tears of joy. Because the truth is, none of this would be happening if it wasn't for Cassie. Yeah. It took a woman to come out for men to feel safe enough to speak. How said, fucked up is this shit? I said the same thing. Yep. The women had bigger balls than the men. Well, when you ain't got no man fighting for you, you got to find you a set of cojones. Yeah. Because these niggas don't fight for us. They so, worried about their own assholes. I mean, especially Q from day 26. I don't know if Diddy got Willie, but I heard he got Q. And I heard that Q was fucking men, and that's why him and Don broke up. If you're sitting here talking about with, I mean, if you're sitting here talking about Q, you talking about Willie. Haven't y'all noticed that all damn near all of them niggas there on the Love and Hip Hop, they all gay. A1. They all gay. Safari. Did it do a bop? Did it fried? Did it fried? What about Joe Budden? <laughs> he, al he already halfway came out. Yeah, he budded all right. You know what? What about Peter Guns? Richie Dollars, little scrappy, did it do up? Oh, Joe did say he was by, but he said he was joking. But he did say about Lil Fizz, he said, because he said his asshole looked like chewed up bubble gum, and he this said, I was wasn't sharing April, ain't nobody fucking up. And he did say, I would, fuck, I would tear that little boy up. If Stevie J, if Stevie, if Stevie is fucking off in the freak out, you think them niggas ain't involved? Motherfucking uh, uh, young Jack with his backtracking statements. I remember when he wore that dress. Remember when he had that perm? You know, side effects from all that expensive pain. Damn. Is that why he got all them kids trying to prove something? Well, that's always that way. I mean, that's what Dwayne Wade done. But when your wife got to go and just take a bag of dildos and throw them up underneath somebody's car. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I got to ask you. What about... Oh, my God. <laughs> what about what about the game? Surely he wasn't in on that. Ain't he out the closet now? He was in... What? That's oh. what I heard. I heard he out the closet. What? Oh. I heard he identified now. 
What? He was a stripper. What? All that expensive pain, you know. Oh my god. Hashtag no diddy. Fuck you, meat milk. You got the honeycomb and you got the milk. No, oh, Jesus. Nick Cannon. <laughs> oh. He likes Star Island. And Mariah would have been grateful for anybody that wasn't Tommy Matola. Well, yeah. He kept her like a slave, so yes. I mean, listen to me. She asked for it. I was a married man with a whole family. And you put yourself in there. That's the thing I don't like. They get with these monster motherfuckers and know they monster motherfuckers. They act like monsters while they with them. And then when they ready to get out, they want to eat a monster. Oh my God. <laughs> Who would know that better than you? You know, it's just a pump faking for me. What do you, you know about the happy? Stop marrying faggots. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> you want the love of a real man? Stop sharing clothes with your boyfriend. Oh. That A-Rod J-Lo shit, I said, look at it. She done turned another one. <laughs> and another one. <laughs> I'm like, I don't give no fuck about no quarantine. I don't care how bored you are. When they swapped and she wearing his clothes, and he put that dress on. I said, yeah, yeah. He done done it. He down with the Sluminati. <laughs> so wait, did I tell you? <laughs> didn't I? Did I tell you, Jag, that I had an opportunity to go over there to revolt? I heard. Oh, you heard? <laughs> and I was told I can get you in the room with Puff in 48 hours. I bet. Maya had meat there too. Oh. The perfect storm. <laughs> <laughs> they said that was going to make me the next Jason Lee. Mm. What's, wrong with, what's wrong with the Jason Lee they already got? Thank you. That was my thing. I, I guess I guess Jason Lee knew too much about the Carters. Damn. Well, yeah. Because they're next. They on deck. They said Diddy was going to take Storm shopping. No! <laughs> Listen here, Daddy. <laughs> you working hard over there on YouTube, Daddy. Let me bring you over here to Remo. Take a shot, man. Hashtag no Diddy. <laughs> and then they said... We got we gonna have Ciroc and Daddy on sponsor. It was gonna be like two, three separate. Oh checks. yeah, like they did over at Rockefeller when they got all the state property drunk and high. They had the strippers up in there and had them sign all their life away. Damn. And they they think people still follow for that shit, huh? I said, nah, I'm good. Two, three different checks would have been nice, and nah, I'm good. Ain't worth it. Nope. You can find that money another way. Exactly. Exactly. It's just weird looking at how surprised and shocked people are right now. I know. And I'm like, people why? <laughs> people have been talking about this for years. For years. But you know what? Before social media, you know, they, these celebrities was able to control mainstream media. Trust me, I know. They Don't can't forget. control them. Don't forget, my first album came out before Facebook existed. Like, ain't nobody bothered to ask, how the fuck did Jag become famous without social media? 1999, 2000, 2001, 2002. Grassroots and relationships and real artistry. In order to break through and make it to the cover of Vibe magazine, it wasn't a, oops, let me have a camera slip 
and all of a sudden I'm an Instagram model? No. Yeah. Go sees. Having your pictures. You don't just get to take a picture online and throw it through a bunch of fucking fil filters. No, you had to go get a photographer. Get your prints done. Have your shit done. Like, we used to have to invest in becoming everything we became. Y'all motherfuckers get to do it with a click of a button. Yeah. You know, so for people to challenge me as a celebrity and as a public figure because of the lack of social media when the truth is I was going viral before viral was viral. How a little black girl just walk, walk her way into a Coca-Cola commercial. It's true. Before her album came out. Like, that's the thing that people forget. My Coca-Cola commercial was filmed before my album was released. Usually it's the other way around. Usually you already have to have a single. That 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 there has to be something to track before my single was released, before my album was released. I had a Coca-Cola commercial. But you Some have lies. talent. But you have talent. I mean, you know, you let some of these YouTubers that run around here asking people what their talent is, the only talent she is. It's for not remembering whether or not she was born a woman. Now, I said, excuse me, sir, I need to know. Are you cisgender female? She couldn't answer. Oh, my God. I asked her 20 times, are you cisgender? Well, what is that? Don't you get cute with me, you Gen Z bitch. Because <laughs> these are your fucking shits. Y'all came up with this shit. I'm a bitch. Y'all say I'm the cis. I went from SIS to CIS. Now it's going to be CSI. I don't fucking know. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, y'all motherfuckers know these little words and shit. Especially these little motherfuckers. This motherfucker 29 years old. And then I started thinking about the way this motherfucker be piping up. Because this motherfucker go from rude to like, um, you know, like Randy Macho Man Savage. You know what? I, you know what I'm saying? Like, real <laughs> fast. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, excuse me, sir. Were you born, sister? Are you, were you born a woman? I had to ask 20 times. Well, um, yes, I am a woman. Biologically? Well, I am a woman. Biologically? Motherfucker, if you can't answer whether or not you was born with a twat, it's because you're not. <laughs> But you know your sex versus your gender expression isn't necessarily the same. That's thing. perfectly fine, but listen to me, motherfucker. If I asked you if you was born with a snatch, I was not. I want to ask. I want an honest answer. No, I have a penis. See, look at how easy that was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I have a penis. I said, "Were well, you born a woman?" You said, "No, I got me a penis." <laughs> I got, I got I got a goddamn penis. <laughs> and it's lovely. <laughs> you know, my thing is, is I just can't stand all the lies. And meanwhile, they're playing all these games. And there are real people out there that are still hurting. There are real people out there that are still in pain. And this moment, and I think that's the reason why it was so hard for me to emotionally articulate it because I knew this day was going to come. I've been waiting for this day to come. I've been praying for this day to come because I knew the next time I talk to certain people, I can go back and tell them they'll believe you. Yeah. They will believe you. Shout out to Free Marie. Shout out to Angie Martinez. Oh, yes. She's a fan of the show, too. Shout out to Angie. I'm sure she is. I still don't understand why she don't talk about her Inokio. Oh. Because they were very much in love. What went wrong? Oh. Angie? Nokia was the love of your life once upon a time. Why you kept that up? And you changed. 
Just like you don't want to tell anybody about you fucking Jay-Z either. What? Well, we know. And I'm not saying this to be cruel, Angie. It's time for you to speak up. She fucked Jay-Z too. Yeah, she was a Jay-Z mistress. Wait a minute. She didn't have no baby by him, did she? No. Somebody else I know did. What happened to Free? Where is their child? I wish I could talk about it. Because she had her baby overseas in Jamaica, right? I wish I could talk about it. Oh, Lord. I know they had a boy. And I'm not saying allegedly, y'all, because Wendy put it out first. So y'all talk to Wendy. The one person that I want to speak up for the most is the one person I can. Wow. He's grown now. Nobody thinks about the dynamic of Mary J. Blige, Free, and AJ sitting on that couch at 106th and Park talking about Aaliyah's demise and nobody taking into consideration that both of the women sitting there had been fucked by Jay-Z. And they're having a conversation about someone else who was a Jay-Z mistress who just ended up dead. dead. I think I need to take a break. I'm sorry. Are you okay? Imagine that. The both of you know what's what and you're sitting there doing an Hype Williams needs to speak up. He needs to explain why he chose that play. Mm. Because if it was all done so Beyonce could sit up here and play round em up cowboy. And, and mothers don't let your, your daughters grow up to be cowgirls and shit. I got a song for you, Beyonce. You know, Whitney Houston remade the Dolly song. Maybe you can re remake this one from Tammy Wynette. Stand by your man. You was there at the freak offs. So go on and take his hand. You want to sing a fucking song, bitch? Sing that. Stand by your man, bitch. Stand by him. How about you too, Jada? Stand by your man. And you too, Gabby. Why don't you go talk to the genders about the genders about what it's like, you know? To help your husband turn into a woman. Be a supportive wife. Y'all wanted these motherfuckers stand by him. Especially now. You too, Mary. Stand by Diddy. You was one of the original Diddy do I bop. You vintage. You taught Carisha everything she know. Oh, oh. Why you won't walk away now when he needs you? When your baby daddy needs you? When Zaddy needs you so much? He losing friends by the minute. Now you want to turn your back on him? Made your goofy ass a fucking star? <laughs> Stand by 
them. Who are you bitches? You too, Carisha. Go on up. Why, why don't you go with, with, with Meek with? Meek went down to the island with him. You ain't go? Now she dipped. They started talking about that pink cocaine. She dipped. Oh. Wonder why. Guess she worried about her own case. Because that bitch get high and get rough, they say. That's they what say I heard. She rough. I heard she rough with them hoes. She like the... And the statue in it. She made them hoes get on their knees. Yeah. With the hair and then... Carisha, and please. Diddy, and her and Diddy go all night. Carisha, please. The title of that show got a whole <laughs> new bit. Carisha, please. Don't do it no more. <laughs> please, Carisha, please. I hear that bitch brutal, boy. She get the hair full. <laughs> you think she was paying taxes on that money she was getting from Diddy? No, she wasn't paying. She, she barely pays anybody any mind. <laughs> even, her, <laughs> even her people when she come to interview, it always ends up talking about herself. You know, she can never stay on topic too well. Then she started telling everybody, how did how did Diddy like to piss on her? And and how don't you know? How wasn't that a click? R. Kelly, you know, birds of a feather. Everybody pissing on everybody. I get it. That's some nasty shit. I wish a motherfucker would try to piss on me. There's a woman that I know right now. In her mid fifties, sucking dick like she's nineteen years old. Bitches out here is desperate, you know, offering people four hundred one k's and shit. Like, bitches out here is desperate for a real man. Like, there's no way at fifty four years old you should be worried about sucking dick for forty five minutes to an hour. There's just no way, you know what I'm saying? Like, you go, you put too, you put too much into it. You might not be doing it right if you're sucking it for that long. This is heavy, this bitch. I heard she, but I'm just saying, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting, I'm bringing all this up to say that the state of, of desperation. <laughs> yeah. Damn. It's, but you know what though, Corinne Stephan said that she sucked dick until her nose bled. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. She was committed. And I'm like, that's a long time to be sucking dick. Yeah, yeah. But see, if you're not attracted to a woman. Oh. And you had to keep getting distracted oh. with the female features. And what you really want to see, you know, strong jawline, maybe a cleft chin. You know, might throw you off a little bit. You know? Damn. I think that's why Diddy wanted her to shave the one side first so he could just, like, put her head down. She could be lady on, you know, you know what? What are your thoughts on T.I. and Tiny? I don't know. I think I think they've been playing musical chairs a long time, and I think they just realized they ain't got no chair. Mm. I mean, the thing with King was cool. <laughs> you know? Right. It got people talking about him for a second, but then don't nobody get no shit. And if they ain't talking about T.I.'s foot being in um some woman's vagina, don't nobody get no shit no how. Not even Shekinah interested anymore. She opened a funeral home. Yeah, well, you know, they, that, that works. You know, dead career. <laughs> Pedro got the cat cemetery. The, it's a pet cemetery. You know? Yeah, she do. I mean, you know, a buck is a buck. But I think for me, what's really getting to me is it's not the liars, it's not the celebrities, it's not 
It's not any of these people. It's it's the people that want to believe it. Mm. I can understand why a liar lies. I just don't understand the people that choose to believe it. Because these are their heroes. They don't want to believe that they're nasty. They don't want to believe that they're dirty. They don't want to believe that. Why not? You're attracted to everything that they do. If you like Nicki Minaj, then you must be cool with the fact that she procreated and had sex and made babies with a sexual sadist who's into beatings and domination, who likes to whittle on women with a knife and see them bleed while he's having intercourse, rough, unconsensual intercourse. Oof. Like, how the fuck do this bitch sleep? Like, I couldn't sleep next to that nigga. Like, I'm not going to sleep first with that nigga around. What if he have a flashback and decide, you know, he want to get his dimer on the night. You know what I'm saying? Like, And that's what? who you want to follow? A bitch that finds that sexy. This nigga's nickname is Zoo. My name is Jaguar. That's one animal. His nickname is Zoo. There are many animals. In the zoo. In the zoo. This nigga couldn't pick one animal. He couldn't even pick a spit. He'd be all of them. Fucking Roman Zelensky in a day at the zoo. It's too much. It's too much. Well, listen, I think we should take a pause there, mainly because my, my allergies are getting me here. But Oh, no, I feel you. My allergies. I took, Look, you saw I went outside. I was actually almost crying. Yeah, me. I'm like, my allergies here are getting me. Uh, before we go... I just want to say it, it's this has been fun. I'm glad like we were able to times. like all at all times. We're gonna come back and talk because you know we can talk for hours. I know we can talk for hours, but I want to make sure that while we're talking now, you know, before we were talking and we were discovering, but now that everybody is finally caught up to us, let's show them what it's really him for. Yeah. Let's show them what it's really fucking hitting for. Because they can call us liars again. They'll just be wrong again. We got to get to the bottom of a lot of shit, Storm. We do. And um, I knew you were going to be the right voice for the future. I knew it then and I know it now. It's just nice seeing you know it. That's all I ever wanted for you. And I'm not attached to anybody, which is nice. But isn't that what I told you? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I was already in the hot water at that point, but yeah. But you, how, how the fuck were you supposed to know? She's a, com she's a very accomplished liar. Exactly. And and, you know, and and she's a narcissist. And honestly, lightweight. I think she's in love with you. Yeah, I mean to be to I mean to be fair. You know, to take out your titties in front of me, to be obsessed with my sex life, to tell me that I look like your ex-boyfriend who was also a tourist. Why are you calling a man breastfeeding while you're finding your titties out and something sucking on you? And he, I was, I couldn't get you. I don't know. I don't know. Hire private investigators. But the, no, but the thing is, is she don't want to have sex with her husband anymore. And then she was fine. And the, the, the way she was cleaving that Eve Saint Laurent shoe, uh, the, the Eve uh, uh, Saint Laurent uh, shoe that you got for her, she was holding on to that hoe. She took those gold shoes and threw them in the trash. I mean, <laughs> I know she took them out right after. Yeah. What else was she going to wear to the witches convention? But my thing is, you know, she was holding those shoes. Look at what my stormy got me. Oh, God. I'm like, oh, do Shaq buy you shoes? Because, I mean, put the shoe on. Try it on. Walk around in it. But you cleaving on to this motherfucker. 
you know, like it was a ring. <laughs> I mean, people I can get, see. People get obsessed with me. That's all I can say. People get obsessed with me too. I totally get it. Like I've had three fake YouTube relationships. The only real relationship I've had in the past five years is my husband and he got hired by YouTube, blow up my car and drive me crazy. Oh my God. He flipped on me. That's he the one he got the bumpy dick, right? I guess so. I don't know what happened to him after he left me. Wow. I was told that the little nasty girl who be marrying all the Africans, she said she gave him something. Then they took it back when they realized that people wanted, ah. Oh. I don't know. I haven't seen that man. I haven't seen my husband naked since February last year. Do you want him back? Know. Oh, God, no. God, no. Um, I can never trust him again. Mm. And it's crazy. Because he's my husband and I love him. And I know he's mentally ill. And I know he's got a lot of issues. But motherfucker, when you turn on your wife, it was one thing, the whole him and my him and his mom shit. Yeah. But you gonna turn on me for YouTube? He felt good about himself. Good night. <laughs> he said for once he felt accomplished. Yeah, well, he, he accomplished to get the fuck away from me, and I appreciate him. I appreciate him. Was he ever any good in the bed? You can be honest. It wasn't about that. Oh, having wow. sex with him was like having sex with a teenager. What? He had sex like a boy. Um, I, oh. It took me years to try to get him to open up. What? Uh, well, you know, he was very homophobic, and then that's when I found out he he he's bisexual as well. He's fucking his best friend. Oh, Mike my Rose. They got me put in a mental hospital on a white morning. They got his baby mom put in a hospital so they could run all together with the state funded and have fun playing video games and fucking. Jesus. That's why that one time we had anal sex when we was married, he got crazy on me and told me I was trying to turn him gay. I'm like, yeah, but you just came. Damn. I'm your wife. Like, it's okay for you to do shit like this with me. No, because my mama said this is wrong. <laughs> yeah, the same woman that started milking your penis when you was 12 years old. That shit's wrong. His mama started milking his penis? Yeah. Dirty bitch. I can't. I can't. So did you peg him or he wanted to do you in the butt? No, I. it, it was me. I was the receiver. I was the recipient. But he was, you know, just in heaven. And then immediately after, and he just looked at me. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Why you made me do that? I'm not gay. My papa told me this wrong. It's wrong. He sound like, uh, what was that Adam Sandler movie? My mama told me you the devil. I'm telling you, he Bobby Boucher. From the <laughs> no, mama. mama say, mama say, mama say, yeah, fuck your mom, bitch. Like, actually, he did. But, you know. He fucked mom. his mama? Yeah, they had sex. And I know they had sex. And he know it. And they and can't neither one of them deny it. You know what? That's actually more common than people realize. I know. These bitches... You got a husband that's fucking somebody else at the job. He ain't interested in you no more. And you just gonna sit up there and bring that boy over. You remember in Precious? Well, who was gonna love me? Who, 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 who was gonna love me? <laughs> fucking weirdos. Mariah said, and what did you say when your husband told you that? I, I, I shit my fat ass up. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. Just the <laughs> fuck like that. Yo, it be wild, yo. I know you're sitting there with your fucking degree and you think you know every goddamn thing. 
Best in time, mean, what they whatever they need to believe, they gonna <laughs> believe it. But I just really hope that people get the importance of this moment for you and I. Never judge a book by its cover. Yeah. Stop being afraid of things you don't understand. Just learn something new. But more importantly, before you believe a lie, make sure it is one. Check. Because a lot of this stuff me and Storm have told y'all is real. And it's yeah. right there. Anybody can find it. It's true. They're not hiding any of this. They're doing this all out here in the open. The question is, why is it okay with y'all? Ooh. That's the question. There's a lot of judgmental motherfuckers on the internet, but I don't hear nobody asking about that weirdo Beyonce church where they be sacrificing girls twice to three times, sometimes up to four times a year. I don't hear y'all talking about that. No, y'all want to sit around and watch this bitch in some fucking uh, uh, straps and stir up in, in a hat and singing fucking rap music, trap music, talking about his country. I don't fucking know. I'm gonna listen to it. You know, I'm I'm flying out tomorrow, so I guess I'll do listen. me a favor. You let me know how it is, cause I'm gonna listen to that as much as I've listened to Lemonade. Not at all. No. Oh my god. If I want to listen to a bitch cry about a nigga cheating on her, I'll call my cousin. You know what? <laughs> oh, they said it's a five hundred one c three. So are you y'all telling me I can open up a church? Yeah. The church is storm. Oh man, I don't want to play with God like that. Listen to me. That ain't playing with God. That's called a a, a, a tax exemption. Ask TD Cakes. <laughs> oh my God. Hey, and, and you know they say that that the TD Jakes likes to be humiliated. Yeah, you know, like just like a Catholic priest. Called a little fat pig. Uh, let me tell you something. He's squealing. Who we and swallowing <laughs> Shabbat Shalom? I tell you, you know, <laughs> I never forget the day after everything came out and he was at the podium and his hands were shaking, he couldn't even yeah. hold the eye. That nigga was looking timid, <laughs> he was, he was look PD Cakes was timid, he was. Uh... He was, he was, and then he said, anything I've done, the Lord has already forgiven me. I said, wow. Amen. That's great. What about your victims? <laughs> <laughs> Ain't you supposed to atone to them too? Oh, we. He said, I'm not, I'm not dignifying anything with a response when I'm worried about bombs falling on this country. Now you worried about, you need to be worried about the bomb that Diddy dropped off of your ass. <laughs> Damn. Wait, we're talking that shit. All that expensive pain. <laughs> expensive pain. <laughs> well, listen, it's been fun. I gotta run. Go, go, go. I gotta run too, but you know, the people, that chat is insane. It is. It is. And I'm about to um, you know, I ain't gonna be on live this weekend. I'm out of town. I see y'all. I see y'all next week. So, well, that's it. See y'all later. <laughs> See y'all later. Thank you, Jack. All right. Hey, Good night. congratulations on becoming you. Thank you. You are Storm Monroe, and you don't owe it to nobody but God and your hard work. Thank you. Oh, thank you. It's been great watching you. Peace. Talk to you later. Will we topped out, people? With five, with five thousand. Uh, um, no, we hit fifteen thousand in the chat. So, um, listen, it's been fun. I'm gonna look on the back end and see. Let me see how many views we got on the back end. Wow. Oh wow. Okay. Okay. Damn. All right. <laughs> Anybody else got any comments or questions before we head out? Where you going? You not you in my business. But yes, I fly out tomorrow, but not you in my business. 
You know, I got a haircut and everything. You know, might come back with some locks in this motherfucker. Who knows? Who knows? This was a great live. Thank you, Layla. Lizzo quit music. Well, she she was getting sued. Um, let's see. Did you see what Ryan Garcia said? Yes, of course. Uh, I think that's it. All right, people, thank you so much for tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe, share if you care. Will we get part two? It would have to be next week when I get back. So it would have to be next week because I'm not really going to be on this weekend at all. All right. Like, comment, subscribe, share if you care. I will catch you all later. Uh, it's Storm Show.